I'm going to touch the pad. What in the world? Fused. Nell and crew, and welcome back to the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel. And I've got the gorgeous tall girl Lily with me here today. Hey Hi, guys. Lily. Hi, it's nice to be back. You are looking fantastic, Thank you. girl. Thanks. Good on you. I, like, I love the hair. Thanks. And the lippy. Suits have to you. Have the lip. You do. You really do. <laughs> okay, now Lily's going to give us a quick hand in um, basically stripping down a caliper. Now, you might say, hey, Andy, this is a bit of a basic job. And calipers are fundamentally quite basic but it's surprising the number of mechanics don't understand how a caliper really works and a good way to find out is you ask them one simple question say so hey what is it that causes the piston to go back into the caliper a little bit when you release the brake we call that piston retraction and man I've heard some really wonderful and elaborate stories about oh it's a uh, deficit in the pressure in the system cause it sucks the piston back in it's you know many other sort of convoluted technical ideas which are all completely wrong uh, so I thought well Lily you know you're going to be getting on the tours with me so um, you know you're excited ready to go yeah for hell yeah I mean you know it's important that you understand the basics of how certain components work because until you actually know how they work mm. like this caliper then how on earth are you going to diagnose any faults? How are you going to be able to fix the caliper and know what the fault is if you don't understand how it fully works? Now, I do already have a few videos on the channel covering stripping down calipers, checking for piston retraction, and the like. So, um, you know, I thought well, we'll just do a quick refresher. This is the first one that I've got a tool girl giving me a hand doing one. So, hey, let's get on with it. Let's do it. Yeah, so you grab that. Oh, hang on, you got some gloves? No, no, you're already grumpy. Look at the state of your hands already. We haven't even started. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. You're going to have dirty hands. It's it. it's right. Okay, it's good to go. so the first job before we take the caliper apart is we're going to put it onto that rig that I made and we're going to test for, we're going to bleed it up and then test for piston retraction to see if there is piston retraction or if for any reason this piston is binding up and, uh, and there's no retraction because that could be the reason why the brakes on this car were binding on. Don't okay. want that. No, no, no. It, br binding brakes cause heat and then it all goes tragically wrong. Right, you ready for this? Ready. On the tools. Ready to go. Cool. Let's get on the tools. Let's do it. Show me your right. hands. Show me your hands. We've been filming for two minutes and you get hands <laughs> that are like, you've been like down a coal mine all your life. I'm ready to get in and get dirty. Okay, well, we're going to be dealing with brake fluid, so you're going to have to wear some gloves. I'm not going to have your skin falling off on me while we're filming. Fair enough. There you go, that's for you. I'll find some as well. Safety first. Yeah, well, you know, they're going to get upset. You know, the people, people put in the comments that you're going to kill your tall girls, Andy. Oh, goodness. Right, yeah. She's obviously not had enough of a job. <laughs> No, I reckon you are. There you go. Some, some safety glasses as well. Now, okay. I, I, I bathe my eyes in brake fluid every night, so I'm fine. Right. I'm going to joke that. I really do. Don't do that. Okay, so I... Can get rid of those. I, um, I made a rig, a test rig. You see, it's leaking brake fluid already, though. Oh. All right. I made a little rig which will allow us to push that piston out under pressure, just like we do on the car. So we're going to stick this in the vise. So you can be vice girl. You open the vice up. Hang on, we'll be able to, um, Fine like that. Yeah, so you can tighten it up there. That'll work. That's it. Now, I'm always getting lots of abuse from tool girls. They're always beating the crap out of me, so it's all right. Okay, now we've got two things to put on here. We've got to fix the, the lever. Okay, so if you hold that for me for a second, like that, and I'll just undo these bolts. Because I haven't used this for a few weeks. It's a really, really useful tool to, to have, actually. Okay, I'll get rid of that. Pull the pin. There we go. Right, now that middle hole there and goes right, in there. It there. That's the one. Line it up. Yep, yeah, and we'll do it from underneath, I think it'll be easier. Dum 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 dum. It's always a good tolerance. There we are. Cool. You got it? You yeah. think it? Okay, cool. I'll stick that one there. Right, that 
cap fall off, and then we'll do the bolt. And that creates this, a nice big lever now. Awesome. So we can, yeah, we can right. create lots and lots of pressure. Right. There we go. Awesome. Stick a little bit on there. So that should now, yes it does, that works great. Don't pump it yet because I'm going to stick all the fluid out of it. Yeah. Now the next job is to mount the caliper. We've got to mount the caliper so that the bleed nipple is the highest point. So it's going to have to go, I think, that way around. But we'll set the camera up so we can see the caliper, see the piston moving. So if you want to whiz that nut off the end of there for us, really. It's fantastic. Good job, mate. It suit you really well. Look at that. Yeah, Right, pop the bolt back through again. We need the bolt. There we are. Stick that on there. And now you can wind the nut back on again. There you go. Oh, four hands are so much better than two, aren't they? I do like I do like your inkler for that. Thank you. Yeah, that's a compass. So we've got a compass. Now that that I like that a lot. That's like an old ship's compass. It is. I got a map, isn't it? And then it's got the older and the clock. Older clock. We'll have to do a closer with that later on. Very nice. There we go. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. Next job is to attach the flexi pipe. Now it's dribbling fluid everywhere, and I haven't got any gloves on yet. I'm useless. Okay. So. You see on there that we've got like a, there's a washer either side, yes, so that, yes, that goes right. through there. And if you want to stick that washer on that side back on that end, awesome. that's cool. Awesome. Yeah, it may not go all the way on. I'll give you a, give it a twizzle. Yeah, there we awesome. are. Twist and then way. we can bring that around. And you'll notice that this kind of pipe doesn't really twist too well. Yes, you have to really. So you've got to sort of go with it and just it's the boss kind of thing. Yeah. Find the best place for it. Stick that on there, and then we need to tighten awesome. it up. So we need a in fact, your tool girl did a 12 mil spanner. So make sure you get the 12. Did you say 12 yep. on there? Yep, cool. Got the 12. Okay, you want to... Oh, is it 12? No, it's a 14. No. I just laid down the garden path. Sorry, oh, it's a 14. 14 right. It's a 14. Oh, 14, it's a 12 then. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Most of them are back to 12, but this one's a 14. Right, right so if you use the, the, use the other end, use the ring spanner. Use the ring spanner. And come in from the top, because you've got a nice right. throw here. Okay. There you go, hold it for you. We don't have to go massively tight, so you're going to come towards me with it. And give it a good push, give it, give it nice and tight. <laughs> You're at the gym. Brilliant, oh, that's definitely good enough. There you go. That'll work. All right. Okay, now, next job is we need to remove the bleed nipple. So I think they, they're usually an eight, so yeah. we need a, an eight mil spanner, I think, for that. Good job. Is it an eight? Oh, it's a no. ten. I'm definitely out my eye chromatur is not working at all today, is it? All right, try a, try a ten, lady. There we go. Oh, my, right now, hang on, hang oh, on, hang on. Lefty, I'll show you a trick. Righty tighty lefty mostly. Yeah, <laughs> that's, you've been watching videos. Okay, now the, the spanner has to go that way, right. and there's a, you could actually hit that with your hand. So okay. if we put it like that's that, it's, it's clear, and right. just use the palm of your hand to give it a tap. Okay. So you hold it, hold it with one hand on on the nut. On the box, you get a tap. There cool. you go. You got awesome, it. I see. What a pro! You can take it off now. That should undo by hand. Yep. Cool. Super job. Little oh, strategies for making the job yeah, easier. So. Right. I'm going to show you a trick. This is covered in brake fluid, yes. and brake fluid doesn't taste very nice. Right. It just burns your mouth. Right. It's, it's not nice so stuff at all. So don't eat it. But can you see? There's a little hole down there, look. Yes. All right, and the right. fluid should come out of this end here. That's why it had a little cap on it. Okay. All right. So that's right. that's how we bleed the the, the air right. out of the system. Now, a trick, rather than actually touching it with your lips, is just to, you know, blur maybe half an inch away, well, 25 mil if you're okay. not not American. Yeah. And put your finger over the end, and you should hear a distinctive change in note. Okay. Given now, if it's if it's blocked, it'll state that you won't hear a change. Right. And then we've got to then we've got to clean it okay. out. Okay. Okay. Right. So give that a go. What do you reckon? Sounds pretty pretty similar to me. I don't think anything's changing. No. Either. Okay. So have a have a closer inspection. Definitely not. All right. So this this little hole that looks clear. Yes. Oh, look at that. See, it's full that of it's full of crap, isn't it? Very much blocked. It is. So we'll find a little drill bit and we'll give that a clean out. Right. Do you hold on to that? Mm, interesting. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, there's a small one. Yep, she's. Okay. Hopefully. Oh, there's two came out. Hopefully that's small enough. See if you can just use the drill end of the drill bit and just 
work it in with your fingers and turn it at the same oh, time. It yes, should clear I all see. the crap off. It's just clearing it and powdering it out. That's right. So obviously at some point it's been driven around without the cap on. Right. Yes, that's much clearer. And that should go all the way down to where that hole is on the side. Is it blocked all the way oh, down, is it? It is quite blocked Jeez. further down, yeah. God. But it's kind of crumbling away. You can feel it's crumbling. Yeah. And feel free to tap it on the, on some metal as well. That, that can help to get bits and bits and pieces out. Oh yes, I can. I can feel it going further down now. Yeah. So if you put your thumbnail, push it all as far down as it will go, and put your thumbnail on, use it like a little depth gauge. Oh, hang on. I'll show you. All right. Right. So just just so you know, you've gone all the way down. You can push the push that all the way down. Put your thumbnail on. Oh right. Bring yes. it out and then line it up with the hole. Oh, very clever. Oh, I awesome. reckon we're about there. Yeah, I think about there. I think hey. you've done that. Yeah, okay, cool. try it again. Give it another blow. Right. You seem to be a lot better than I am at it. Right. You didn't get that joke, did you? Yes, it's scary. <laughs> oh, it's not working. All right, and then move your finger over the end, on and off. Let's have a, let's have a go. Can you hear it? Let's have, a, let's have a little try. It still feels slightly blocked it does, at the it? end. It does, doesn't it? But I, I can slightly hear a little bit of... Where's that? Hey, you're right. On. It doesn't sound brilliant. You're not right at the end. Let's give it another go. You could be right. It could still be blocked. Just slight yeah. something. Let me get a little tiny drill bit and we'll put one through that little right hole. Right through that in pace. Yeah. That's a good idea. Right. Let's see be. if we've got a smaller one. Oh, we have got a really, really, really small one here. Yes, What's because this? should I be able to see some light through that gap? Yeah, if your eyesight's better than mine, you might be able to. <laughs> there you go. Right. There's a awesome. tiny drill. Wow, that is... Try that for the little side hole. You might feel a resistance in there as oh, well. Oh yeah, there is. Wow, that was well blocked, wasn't it? Yeah. There you can see yeah, all the rust coming out. Yeah, you can see it. Oh, there you go. Cool. And this is important. There's no point in proceeding until we've and got this a... got this clean, you know, because you can't we can't bleed it up as yeah. it is. Oh wow. Still coming out. Give it a tap. Give it a tap on the. Yeah, you can see all the debris falling out. Look. Right. I'll try the other side one more time. This is something that often gets overlooked when people are bleeding the brakes up. They don't right. ensure that the bleed nipple's clear. Yeah, and they can spend hours trying to bleed. There's no fluid coming through. What's going on? You have a, <laughs> yeah, you've got a blockage. Yeah, yeah, blockages are never good. Right. Okay. Let's see if that will work. Let's have a. Go and have another go then. Oh, there you go. There you on, go. That. Show, show the people. You had it, you've lost it again. That's it. Good pair. Yes, of, that's quite good pair of lungs, girl. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, that is bang that's on. That's quite noticeable, hey? Yes. See that years of experience. Awesome. So I turn that yeah. around on you there, so. You asked to go too slow. Right. Cool. Okay. Cool. So that is now clear. We can wind that back in again. And uh, you can put a bit of copper paste on there. I'm not going to bother because this caliper right. is actually scrap now. We're not going to be going to put it back in the car, but you can right. screw that back in there. Awesome. Okay, so right. we've got a spanner. We're yes. going to need that. I'm just going to just lock that for a second. Right, we need to get some brake fluid and we need to get my magic beer bottle. Oh, Bear magic with me. Beer bottle. We have what we need. There's some brake fluid. Cool. Magic beer bottle. Now I, I am going to put bottle. some gloves on now. I keep needing to put gloves on. I keep forgetting to do it. Um, oh, that, that's your size. They ain't going to be. Can you just chip us? Oh, girl size. Yeah, they are. It's definitely too. <laughs> so they'll never fit my hands. <laughs> Not my sausage fingers. No chance. Right. Brake fluid everywhere. What you can be doing if you want, you can mm -hmm. pop that cap and you can fill the reservoir with brake fluid while I'm doing this. Now, do I'll just rub it off. Top no, no, the whole thing. The whole thing Everything right. black should come off. Yeah. Don't get brake fluid on your, Should I put it up to on the your skin. Recommended to line? Yes, that'll be ideal. I'm going in. Going in. Going on in. Right, Okay, now it's beer bottle Pop the time. Back on? No. Uh, no, you can leave it off if you want, because okay. then we because we might need to top it up again. It's quite a big caliper. Right. Because it's so, gonna. So we'll stick with the beer bottle on there, 
And if you just hold that pipe in there for a second, and I'm going to just pop this pipe on here. Now, you don't have to have a clear pipe to bleed. You could just right. let the fluid just run out and go. Uh, this is I a, see, a right. attachment thing, it'll dribble into a tray. Tidy cleaner option. Sure. Well. That's, That's a good idea. You want to read this? Nice and efficient. Yeah, I thought so. So the plan of attack is, I'm going to open the bleed nipple. Right. You're going to pull this lever towards you. And and that's what we call the command in. When you're pulling, yes. the, that's the same as pressing the brake pedal down. Yes, the car. right, right. Then I'll lock the bleed nipple off, and then I'll say out, yep. and then you bring the lever back to its current position. Okay. And then we just repeat. Awesome. All right, okay. and that should draw all the air out, and we'll see fluid with air bubbles coming out through this pipe. And then once right. it becomes clear fluid, good to go. And then we can check piston retraction. So this is the same concept as when someone bled my brakes on my car once and I'm sitting there on my brake inside the car. Exactly the same. Right. Exactly cool. the same. But right. we, it's just it. that on your car you've got a yeah. multitude of brake pipes and yes. different calipers yes. all over the place. This is just one single caliper with a single brake pipe. This is a much simpler cool. system. It's yes. a really good way of demonstrating yeah, how absolutely. to bleed brakes. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, so Lily, tall right. girl Lily, tall girl if you'd like to pull that lever in for us, awesome. so in. Cool, that's it, as far as it goes, I'll lock it off. Awesome. And then back out again. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Is that reservoir going down yet, or is it still the same? Mm, I think it's slowly going down. Okay, yeah. right, in, out, in. Yes, it's definitely dropping out. Now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In, out. You can see the bubbles coming up. Oh, too. yeah, it's got air in it as well. So that tells us there's actually air in the, in the mass cylinder itself. Right. Okay, right, out, in, out. In, out, in, out, yeah, it's coming down. in, out, in, can you hear it? out. Yeah, that noise. Mm. If I, if I, when I open this, we're getting a, we're getting air being sucked, sucked back in, in yes. which is not normal. Right. Um, and it could be because we've got air actually in the mass cylinder that's happening. Right. So one right. trick is, to, is for me to open it. So I'm going to open it now. Okay. And I'm just going to squeeze that gently, the pipe. I'm not going right. to fully lock it off. And then when you when it pressurises, it'll force my fingers apart. And it's like an right. auto bleeder. Yes, absolutely. So if, okay. you, if you pull in now for us. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In, out, in, out, in, out, in. This is taking ages. It is. I can see some editing coming on. Right, <laughs> out, in. Did I put too much fluid? Out. No, no, you've oh, done right. great. It's just this whole rig's been it's sat up on the right, wall, right, side right, down. Yeah, yeah, that's cool because you yeah. just prop this. Good. Right, there you go. Right, out. In, out, in, out, and it is quite a big it caliper. It right, does, right. and the piston's already two, well, a third of the way out as well. So there's quite right. a large chamber in there to fill up, and that's what's happening now. We should have, we should have fluid in the pipe. Yes. It's going into there, and it's Pulling slowly filling up that void. Right, right. Right. So in, in, out, in, out. Right, Lily, let's do a quick top up. Can you grab some right. grab some more fluid for us? Some more fluid. And this is actually a clutch master cylinder that I've used because it's got it? a, yep, that'll do. Because cool. it's got a single chamber. A car master cylinder has two outlets, you see. Right. And I didn't want two yes. outlets in my rig, so I just used a clutch <laughs> one. Okay, let's go again then. So in yeah. out. Now I did see a little bit come through, so just yes, go a little bit I slower just, this time. Okay. So in. There you go, look at that. Oh wow. Out. Cool. So we've got bubbles in the fluid, which tells us it's not properly bled yet. We should right. get clear. Yes. So, so when, 
when you're pulling it's it in now, air in there, is that correct? yeah, it's aerated. So we're, we're in the process of bleeding it now. Yes. So the, 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 the void inside the caliper is now full. Right. Um, so when you're pulling this in, just pull it in a bit slower now, because we, we can actually watch the bubbles right. coming through. So in. Look at that. Wow. Oh, you are good. Out. Cool. You can come out as fast well, as you want. Okay. Yeah. Cool. In. Wow, that's bled up really well. I can almost feel it in the um, thing too. Yeah, you know, a different feeling now. Different there's more feel resistance now. There's to more it. resistance. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so back out again. We'll do one more. Right. In. Oh, tiny bubbles. See those bubbles yeah, there? Yeah, a few. Okay, we'll do another one. Out. More. In. Fantastic. That'll do, that'll do cool. for the for the purposes of this job. Yes. That'll do. Awesome. There's no point in wasting fluid for the sake yes, of it. Yeah. Um, if you want to top it back up to max again, awesome. I'll remove this pipe because we're finished bleeding now. Cool. Put the famous beer bottle back on the shelf, famous ready for next bottle. time. Worked well. It's uh, Works well. Orchard Thieves awesome. Vintage. It's you need a specific yeah, bottle. Yeah. Just don't drink this one though. <laughs> Otherwise, you'll never drink another another cider again. <laughs> right. Let's get rid of the spanner. Okay, Are you ready so, to put the lid on? Yeah, yes, yeah. Stick the lid back on for now because we're not going to be. We, we might need to top up again because we're going to okay. be pumping the piston out eventually. Okay. Now, because this caliper is now bled, we can orient. We can move the position of the caliper. We don't have to keep the bleed nipple at the top anymore. Right. All right. Because we want to be watching the piston. Okay. So if we just rotate that round, it's going to rest over there. We can now see the piston. And this, this boot here, this is just a, a protective boot to stop dirt getting in. The, yes. the main seal is further back here. But we can have a quick look, have a sneaky peek and see how, what the condition of the piston is Good under right. there. And oh. It looks, it doesn't look too bad, does it? It's not full of rust. No, it's not. It's actually so, not Do you want to like give it a little blow and blow all that crap out there? Oh, good job. It's all right. Yeah, it's still pretty Once shiny. Once you give it a clean, it's actually yeah. really good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to test for piston retraction. Now, okay. there's a number of ways you can do that. We can we can just watch the piston. And when, when you when you pull the bar in, not just yet, when you pull yeah. the bar in, we should see the piston move out. Right. And then when you release the bar, we should see the piston be pulled back in slightly, right. a small distance. Um, what we can do, another way of testing it, is to put a, a solid piece of steel in this gap. Okay. So when the piston pushes against the steel, there's... The, all the all the gap is taken up. It's, yes. it's sol it goes solid, right. and the steel's trapped. Yes, and we can't pull the steel out like like your brake disc and your brake pads would yes, be. Yes, absolutely. Just and then when you release the lever, the piston should retract a bit, and that steel we should be able to move the steel out. And that, that again is proof of piston retraction. Absolutely, what an awesome um, way of testing it. We could even measure it actually with the vernier calipers. So I'll go and grab that. Okay. First of all, let's do a little visual. Right. So we're going to be looking at. The piston. So if you draw that, draw that lever in slowly, we should now see the piston move out. Oh, look at that! Look Defi at the, definitely moved out. Back. And then if you release it back, we should see it draw back into the caliper, a small distance, a lot less than the amount it came out. Right, right. So just do it once more for me. So if I can hold the caliper more still. Oh yes, absolutely. There we go. In fact, it's just resting it's on just the lever. It's just resting. Yeah. Right. So I hold that then. Okay. Okay. Release. And one more. Back Absolutely. In. Yeah, and back in. Great. So we definitely saw cool. piston retraction. Okay. I'm just going to tighten this bolt up. Mm -hmm. So maybe a 12. 12. You're going to give me a 12. I could be wrong. It might be a 13. I know. Look. Yeah. It is a 13. <laughs> Jeez. Honestly, today I'm not doing very well. Am I? I'm just going to give up and that's the problem. Take the whistle. You do, yeah, you do, you do, you yeah, do take it. Oh. Man, we're not going to get any work done with this right now. <laughs> Right, so that, that's the caliper, the caliper nice. Take the caliper to the bar and do it. Hey, it's, not the the whole first, <laughs> it's not the first time I've done a video at a pub, believe, believe, believe me. Okay, cool. so what we can do now yeah. it's a bit is, angled. I reckon we can actually measure, just see if I can get a get a fix, fix on here somehow. Yes, I can do it just there. Oh, nice. I, can, I can take that measurement. Okay, so we'll right. turn this on. And what I need you to do, first of all, mm -hmm. uh, we'll, we'll measure the amount it moves out as well. So okay. what the hell, we'll, we'll be really technical about this. So at the moment we've got, I'm going to need a pen and paper. 
Uh, 36.5 millimetres of a gap. What have we got? A little bit, bit of scrap paper down. That'll do. That'll work. Bring it over here, Lynn. Okay. 36.5. Yep, so we're at 36.5 at the moment. Piston sort of that, that gap. Right, if you now pull the pull that all the way in, and I'll measure it again. Cool. Oh, hang on, hold it in. Oh, right. yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll, do it. we'll do it again. We'll start again. Okay. okay, so let it come out. I'll take a measurement. And now we're at 34.32. So you're going to change your measurements. 34.32. All right, cool. pull your lever all the way in and hold it in. Great. And I'll take a measurement of that one. Now this is critical now, so we've got 31.91. 31.91. Yep. Cool. Okay, now when you release that, the piston's going to get drawn back in slightly. That, okay. That's the piston retraction we're testing right. for. Right, yes, so absolutely. So if you release that, yep. let it come back out all the way. And now I'll take another measurement and we should be able to work out how much that piston is actually retracted. Right. Okay, so I'm on 32.2. So we need to deduct 31.91 from 32.2. How good are your maths? Oh, well that's 0.9 plus 2. So it's going to be 9 Point. into 0.29. You got that? Ooh. Is that right? 0.29. So you've got, you got 0 0.09 to get to 2. Yeah, and then, and then, plus, and then plus, plus the 20. Yeah, yeah. So we've got 0.29 Two of a millimetre of retraction. Wow. It's not a lot, no, not but it has got some. That's the important thing. It has got some piston retraction. What should the spec be? I actually don't know. Yeah, I think it, it varies on the size of the caliper, how big the piston is, right. the seal, all that kind of stuff. Interesting. Um, oh, it's interesting. Yeah. So the next part of the video is going to be pumping that piston all the way out, and right. then we're going to remove the seals, and we'll, I'll show you actually what's the part in the caliper that's responsible for piston retraction. Awesome. Okay. Cool. Now, um, I'll, I'll be very, very clear and try and eliminate any kind of misconceptions. It has nothing to do with fluid. Right. All right. It's all nothing to do with the fluid. It's a different all component. And the components. Components. Right. It's, a, it's a trade secret. So obviously, we don't want to tell everybody about this. Yes. Okay. Right. So if you pump that lever, just. Right. Not at what pace? Oh, as as we were steady. when we were bleeding right. up, I think. Cool. Yeah, and you'll just see that piston coming out, and it'll retract a bit, but it won't retract as far as it came out. So eventually, it's going to walk out. Right. Now we've got to be careful when we get near the end, okay. because it can oh, wow. it see. can spray fluid if we're not careful. That's it. That's it. Steady. Nice. See, 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 it's actually moving around yeah, now. Yeah, so the piston's got actually got loose. So you, can yeah. you can stop now if you want. So it's actually, it's all the way outside oh, the casting. Right. So what we can do now, if you want to so pull, you, you can actually pull that piston out. Now, if you get the little flat screwdriver that's on the bench, oh, yes. just down there, love. What I usually do, is just, just to break the seal, in between. run it yeah. under there and run it round the, round the actual piston. There you go, let me see getting fluid out. Oh, yes, right. And then, you can and then your just... piston will just come out nice and easy now. Because you've got fluid on the rubber. Yes, it right. It to, just... to move. Cool. Easy. So we've got, we've extracted the piston, and if you grab the rag, give that a bit of a clean. Cool. All right. Am I cleaning this? No, oh, I wouldn't bother. No. No, not yet. It's going to get more dirty yet. Cool. All right. Good job. Awesome. Cool. cool. Okay, Lily. Right. So we've got All the right. piston out. That's mm -hmm. great. So we'll pop that on the bench somewhere over there, out of the way. And what we need to do now is we've got the big dust seal, this big con this sort of concertina oh, boot yes. thing. Yep. All right, so with that, it's just actually tucked into a groove inside right. the casting. I don't think this one's got a circle up on it. No, it hasn't. So you, what holds it in is the piston being in there. Right, So, so once see. the piston's so out, you can just, just remove that. That's it, just pull, pull it down. Yep, oh. you should just, should just tear out of the... Well, it shouldn't tear, but it should just pull away from the actual casting. Oh, nice. Shouldn't have a circle. Oh, yeah, there, there you go. go. You got just it. a little bit. It's just old. Just old. Oh, it has oh, got a circle. Oh, look at that. I was there wrong. Go. Okay, that's all good. But all right. Yep. Let's pull it out. Brilliant. Cool. Good job. Now, the prize mm. is the next seal. Do you want a rag? Yeah. Yeah, look. Yeah, because there's a lot of fluid going on, yeah. isn't there? Right, so if you look down in there, uh, Lily, 
you'll see we've got another seal. So we've removed the dust seal now. Yes. It's pretty clean in here, it's yeah, actually quite good. Clean. But this seal here is what we call the, the main seal. It's a square right. section seal and we need to remove that as well. So what you can do, you can either use a flat screwdriver yeah. or I can get you a little pick. Probably, probably a pick's a probably pick? better. Yeah, All I've right. got that for you. Okay. Yeah, we just do you need to get right under it. Yeah. Just pry it up. Yeah, so it, it's a square section, so you can use either end of this. Maybe, maybe the, the bent end is quite good to go under and sort of hook it. That's it, you got it. No, wait, yeah, there I mean, go. normally it'd be fitting new ones anyway when you rebuild these. Where's it gone? <laughs> it's hiding there from you. Go. Yeah, and just you can grab it with your fingers out. now if you want, yeah, so it doesn't flick off across the workshop. Cool, right, let's have a quick look. Wonderful. Okay. So you can see, it's not like an O-ring, it's actually proper mm. square, isn't it? Yeah, so there's this. So what I'll do is we'll, we'll go across to the bench, the other bench, awesome. and I'll do you a little diagram okay. as to how this actually, because you're going to say to me, hey Andy, how does that seal actually pull the piston back in? Absolutely. I'm just, hey Andy, how does the seal pull the piston back into the caliper? Now, Tool Girl Lily, that's a really good question, and I had a hunch you were going to ask me that. So let's head over to the other bench right. and I'll do you a diagram. Cool. Sounds Man. good. Good job. Let's Here, go. have a free seal. Thanks. Right. Honestly, I'm losing it today. <laughs> okay. So we have the main square section seal from that caliper that uh, the gorgeous Tool Girl Lily has just extracted for us. Good job, Lily. Thank you. Excellent. Very professional. Now, you'll notice that it's square section. It's not round like an O-ring. And there's a reason for that. So let me do you a little diagram to show you how this seal, this little tiny seal, can be responsible for pulling that piston back into the caliper body. Ready, Lily? Ready, ready as ever. But you're really Let's eager to it. find out, are you? I can see it. Go on, go on. Show me. Right, Lily, we've got the cardboard and we've got the seal. Okay, now I'm going to be freehanding this. It could all go really, really, really wrong. All right, so if you imagine we've got, this is the caliper body. Mm -hmm. And it has, we, know, we saw on the video earlier on, we, it's got a square recess. Yes. Okay. Now, we're not going to worry about the, the, the dust seal. That's irrelevant. The dust seal does nothing but keep out the, the crap, basically. Right, right. So this is the caliper body. This is all cast iron. Yes. And in here is the square section seal. Mm -hmm. And it protrudes. When it's not being squashed by the piston, it does protrude a little bit beyond right. the, the that, casting that itself. Casting. All right. And then here we've got the piston. I'm going to draw it with a little tiny gap just mm -hmm. for the sake of it. So there is the piston, awesome. okay. And of course down here there's, there's the other half of the seal. Yep, so we've yes. got the other groove there, look. Yep. So like that and that's all, that's all casting. Cool. Right. And this is the piston in its, in its sort of stationary state. All right, so we're not applying the brakes. Yes. The piston has just retracted, retracted back in and it's all happy, ready for waiting for the next push of the brakes. Right. And the fluid is all in here. This is all fluid, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what we bled up earlier on. Now, I'm going to draw another drawing now with the piston pushed out and we'll see what happens okay. to that main seal. Cool. All right, so I'm going to go up like this. My drawing's not great, sorry. Pretty artistic. Oh, uh, I'll I try, <laughs> I do try. So the piston is a bit further out. You have to imagine it a bit further out. Yes, yeah. Putting out a cardboard. Got to draw that because I just do that kind of stuff. Now, the seal itself, rather than being sat square, right. it will be dragged oh, out with the I piston. See. All right? right. Now, rubbers, as you can tell, it's quite, quite elastic. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Stretchy. It's actually yep. pretty strong stuff. It is. So what happens is the outer side of the seal, this bit, mm. is trapped in the groove. It cannot move. It's, right. it's, it's in that housing. Cool. Whereas the, the, the inner diameter of the, of the seal is in contact yes. and actually actually quite tight against the piston the itself. Piston. Right. So what happens is when that piston's pushed outwards, the seal gets dragged, dragged out with it. And the amount of piston retraction that we get depends on A, the material of the seal, how, right. how elastic it is, yes. but also, um, the, this is really technical now, the coefficient of friction in that interface there, right, in that section. Between that, yeah. So if right. I if I draw a, a, a bigger, bigger drawing of that, so we've got a bit more of a, a zoom in effect zoom. for the camera because that's mm -hmm. very very small, yes, isn't it? Because yeah. I'm not very good at drawing stuff. 
Okay, and we've got the piston, piston. down here. All right, I've, I've drawn it with a gap. There's, yep, the gap's there's, there's exaggerated. Gap. Yes. So we've got that seal now is sort of dragged across. Dragged it's actually deformed sometimes through. against there. Yes, you know, right. And that's the that's the top of the seal there. Look, so you can see the seal's been dragged yes. out with that piston as it's gone. And then released and back through. Yeah, so when we're, when we're, but, but only, only when we release the pressure. Yeah, so, so it's going to sit back. So clear, once like that pressure is so. released back here with all the yep. all the brake fluid, then Absolutely. it's that seal wants to, it wants to get back to that shape. Yes, wants to go. And back. the only way it can do that is by pulling the piston back in. Absolutely, cool. And that the, makes so much sense. Yeah, I That's was awesome. I was pretty impressed. Now, sometimes you'll have too little piston retraction. Right. And that's and because the, the reason for that is because you see. Obviously, your brake pads are going to wear, right? Yes. So at some point, that piston has to be able to slip against that seal and pass right. through it. Mm. So the slippier it is between that seal and the piston, hey, listen, listen, there he goes. Neighbours. Okay. He always has fun on the gravel. Um, <laughs> Sounds the, like it. <laughs> so the slippier it is, the, the sooner or, or the less that seal will deform before the piston can actually slide past it. Right. Which means the seal can, can't then pull it back in as far. I see. So, I if, see. so if you've got a piston that's covered in rust, yes, that's going to grab into that rubber. Yes. And it's going to really drag the rubber drag a lot it. further out, isn't it? Yes. So then you're going to get more piston retraction. Absolutely. And if you get too much piston retraction, then your piston's got further to travel to apply the brakes right. for the for the pads to hit the disc. Right. Yeah. I see. So your pedal in your car can be too low. Right. So your actual pedal height might not be because there's air in the system. It might be because you've got excessive piston retraction because right. your pistons are rusty. So there you go, Lily. Yeah, that's interesting. I can see, I can see that working now because some cars that I've driven, mm -hmm. my foot on the, on the pedal, the brake pedal, has yep. almost been a soft cushion effect with no response and right. a very delayed response. So that would... Yep be very similarly related mm, I mean, to, to why that's happening. That's right, you, you can have, the, I mean, brakes on a vehicle can, can have many different yes, failures, you know. absolutely. Um, but one of the things that came to my attention with this piston retraction issue was when I was working on a, um, I was actually designing a, a, a brake system for the back of the fleet of quad bikes that we ran, right. because they, they used to have a drum brake and it was crap, so we... We, I designed a, a disc brake system, which used a caliper off one of our Suzuki Jeeps, and we made the discs on the lathe, and it also worked pretty well. But sometimes, when we bought the calipers as remanufactured calipers, the, the brake lever on the handlebars, would, even though we bled the brakes up, once you'd applied the brakes and then let go of the lever and came to reapply, the lever would just come straight to the bars. Right. And you say, what's going on? Because we've, we've bled the brakes up. This isn't right. And obviously it's dangerous. We can't, yes, they, yeah, we can't no, hire no. the bike out like that because yeah. customers will just crash and catch fire and die and things. So I had a further look at it and I watched the piston and it did seem to retract quite a distance, which meant it had to travel that quite quite a distance to, to actually compress the pads against the disc right. and the lever on the handlebars just ran out of travel basically so I compared that to an old caliper we had you know one off a jeep and it moved about a third the distance and I'm like well what's going on mm. and it turned out that the caliper reconditioners were using a grease on the main seal so they put the seal in put some kind of maybe rubber grease or something on it and pop the piston in yeah. the grease wasn't very slippy at all. It didn't really. It basically allowed the, it caused the piston to grip onto that seal a lot. So when when the piston was pushed out, it was then retracted further in. Yeah. yeah right. So all I had to do was mm. pop the piston out, put a smear of uh, brake fluid, you know, which obviously was already there by that point. And clear up, clean just... all their grease off, bit of bit of brake fluid on, stick it back in, and instantly. The problem was fixed. Good to go. Wow. Yeah, and I, that's how I came to learn about how these things are responsible for how far the piston gets and drawn it was back just in. Little things like that, something as little as that mm. just makes it work. Yeah, people don't usually give that seal the importance that yes, that it, you actually, know, that it actually has. It's not. Has it's not cold. just a hydraulic seal. It's not just stopping the li the liquid, the fluid yes. from escaping. It's doing another it's role. Doing of, a job. Yeah, yeah. it's doing. <laughs> it's yeah, it has a job. very, very important purpose. It does. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff. Awesome. Yeah, no, that's interesting to know. Yeah. So, 
I think that was the purpose of this video, wasn't it? To pull the caliber apart, yep. check for piston retraction, and to find out and explain what actually retracts the piston. And I think we've done that. It's been really interesting to learn. Yeah, absolutely. I can see you're enthralled. Um, actually. Throwing everything yeah. apart, breaking all and you've apart. Actually, you've actually got it's some. Been good. You've actually got some oil on your face. I think. I do. Right? Yeah, that's not makeup, is it? That's actually no, oil. Good just job. Make some wall that's what we like. Right, you need some wall paint. <laughs> this side. <laughs> Okay, well, hopefully you found this video helpful. That's the idea of them. And it's been great to have tall girl Lily on board with me uh, making this video and, and joining us on this little sort of mini adventure. Yeah, nice to join on, you guys on it. Yeah, it's been great. On working out how, this, uh, how these calipers actually work. It's been really good even from my own knowledge. <laughs> you Go home there. and you bleed my brain. <laughs> you will be pulling the calipers off. You'll be in the kitchen sink. You'll be pulling them apart, getting them clean, replacing the seals, checking the... Piston retraction also. It's really good, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, if you did enjoy the video, why not? Don't forget to click the, uh, the like button. And if you want to subscribe, you'll see a little subscribe icon pop up on the top of the screen. Uh, you can click on that. You'll see a gear icon turn up. Click on that. And then you can tick the box and turn on notifications. And then our friends down at YouTube, well, they're going to send you an email just to annoy you every <laughs> time I upload a new video, just to prove that I'm still here. Now, usually there's three or four videos every week. Uh, however, there's the odd week where nothing happens at all because I'm away from home with work and I can't do any videos. Sorry, it's just the Fair way enough. it is. Yeah, I'm, it's a, life. <laughs> I'm a very, very busy chap, but I do try to make as much time as I can for you, the people, to make you videos. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Um, you'll also find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google, and Twitter. So yeah. find us there. You sure will, that's right. You can communicate through any of those portals, whichever you prefer. Uh, I will get back to you eventually. Um, but if you don't mind, first point of contact through the comments on YouTube because that is where I spend most of my time. And let's face it, that's where the videos are. And if you pose a question about that particular video or, or something within the video, I answer it. That may also then answer the question that somebody else has. And they're going to see it on the comments right in front of them. Mm. If it's hidden away somewhere on Facebook, they're not going to see it. And I've got to repeat myself thousands and thousands of times and I just don't have time for that sorry um, place for them yeah Good feedback. I reckon so and it, it does help and the more comments that a video gets the more YouTube seems to like it and shares it around as well so you know good fun Good conversation starts I think so yeah uh, you'll also find a patron page for the Andy Mechanic YouTube channel you can drop onto that and you can read all about the history of the channel how it came to be uh, up-and-coming projects and of course for those that are interested all the tool girl profiles. I've not yet included their measurements, but I'm sure that'll happen one day. Because people keep sending them clothes through, you know. Oh, really? Yeah, we get hot pants turn up, we keep have coming, stiletto keep coming. shoes. Just honestly, this. We love leather gear. My poor PO love... box just gets overloaded with stuff. The guy's like <laughs> ringing me up saying, Come down and pick up all this gear, please. Make a specific <coughs> video with oh, a tool girl, a this tool girl wearing this outfit that I mm. sent you. Seriously, that's exactly <laughs> Working what on happens. this concept because I want to learn this. That's we, quite a cool thing. We, you well, can do that. Maybe not so much about the, the technical content. We just say, I'd like to see Sam wearing the enclosed the, yeah, please. Yeah. And I'd like to see a close up of her left buttock. I don't know. <laughs> Very specific. And I, I always aim to please, believe me. Make it happen. <laughs> we can make it happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, I reckon. I reckon we're going to see an awful lot more of Tool Girl Lily uh, on this channel. I hope so. Yeah, you, to being around. I, I'm very impressed with the way that you've operated. It's been great being um, part of this project. Yeah, because you, you've learnt you, a lot. You have. I mean, you, you were definitely picking stuff up really, really good. quickly there. Um, you were actually on. You, you turned up this morning while I was just finishing off a summary on a video to do with that uh, projector voltage stabilizer. And yes. within a few minutes of you being on that video, I thought, man, they, they, she's good. For the she's next one. really good. <laughs> so I was very much looking forward to doing this uh, on the tools video with Lily. Thanks. And I was uh, most looking forward to getting on the tools. Yeah, show me your hands again. How grubby are they? I'm pretty well, grubby. Yeah, you've, Not you've, too you've bad. actually done a bit, bit more of a clean now. Probably got you? a bit. Yeah. Oh, look at that. A mix of brake yeah, fluid. Yeah, brake fluid and all sorts. Really greasy. Give, give, give us a give us a sh show the viewers your tattoos on your oh, arms because they are very cool. Bit of mandala work. That's nice, isn't it? Clocks. And was that, is that all New Zealand stuff? Is yeah, it all this here? is all done by uh, Betty at Freehand Inc. Oh, wow. In South Auckland. I think so it's about time really I get some more And he also yeah. did my thigh, which oh, is I'm, a bit I'm, of mandala work. But I'm sure we'll see that in future that in videos. Future. I'm sure we will. But uh, I'm a great oh, fan of ink. So good I job. love ink too. Yeah. Yeah, love so art. It tells a love story, creating. doesn't it? Yeah, it, yeah, it does. It really does. Yeah, mine does. 
Okay, yeah. crew. Well, it's um, about the end of the video. Don't forget, on the Patreon page, you can donate and become a patron uh, to the channel if you like. If you do donate, please only send through what you can afford. I don't want anybody, please, sending money through that they can't afford. Uh, don't feel compelled to do that. You don't need to do it. Uh, but the thought, thought counts. And if you do send something through, it is really much appreciated. And you'll probably get a mention at some point on a future mail call video as well, which we'll be doing maybe the next few weeks. Who knows? Exciting. Yeah. Cool. Good, good job, tall girl, Lily. Thank you. Fantastic. Nice to see everybody and be yeah. part of this project. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, we we'll look forward to seeing a lot more of you too. And she likes pubs. I like pubs. Yeah. I like vodka mm. and pubs. <laughs> We're going there now. This is going to be, be. We're on. We're on our way We actually there now. might be going to the pub next. I might just bin on my work for the afternoon, just go and chill out at the pub with Lily. I reckon. Okay, crew. Well, oh, un guys. until next time, we'll see you around. See you next time. <laughs> Cheers. Over and out. Bye. And we get the up again. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha